All right, I just got in from mowing and uh, still drawing Dusty. I hope we get some rain here soon. Um, after taking off that uh, that uh, tab, I didn't have any trouble with the belt skipping. And I think I caught it in time that that belt's still yeah, okay a little bit. You know, it's still got some frays on it from that. But anyway, uh, the update right now I'm trying to give you information on is about the trailer. As you can see, the, uh, the decking is baking in. Looks like a piece of bacon already, and it's only been on for a couple years, I think. Uh, I'm tired of redecking it, so I've had this trailer since 87, been using it pretty much in this manner for that much time. So I know that the trailer itself in its basic format is perfect for what I do in that it's small, to get into tight areas and it hauls my biggest mowers my 72s and even my 60 and well that's the smallest i got so anyway the the problem is is trying to find material to deck it um and i knew what i wanted but i couldn't find it and today i got some info let me show you what i let me show you where i'm at on it uh, basically i got to drill 800 holes and then dimple dye them. And this is where I stand at the moment. I've got maybe a 150 or so drilled. And then after I drill them all, I swage them. Because you can't really maybe see it, but swaging it first, it draws that metal, metal in. I may have to do more than 800 because if the plate shrinks, this tread plate shrinks, then I may have to do more. Uh, I don't know if I can hold this up here to show you how much just one dimple drew this in. Okay. You see that gap? That one dimple drew it in that much. And probably did on this plane as well. So when I'm measuring for my holes, I have to jump over here a little ways. I should not have dimpled it. Although having that dimple there, you know, gives me some encouragement as to what my overall design is going to be. And I think it's gonna work nice. So uh, taking weight off with the holes, adding structure back in with the raised surfaces and working towards an overall goal of having a, a lawn rig at 50 miles per gallon uh, or close to it. So, and, or I could pull it behind one of the Colorados and uh, and and not get the mileage like that but have the lightweight for safer i mean if you can accelerate quicker stop quicker it all adds up sometimes you need to accelerate to get out of other people's way sometimes you need to be able to stop because the person in front of you is texting and they're stopping at the full limits of their sports car unexpectedly and somehow you're supposed to stop a truck and trailer behind them um uh, it's either, you know, it's either that or you got to add more following distance. And then when you add more following distance, people with little sports cars jump in between. And then you got to, you just keep getting backed up further, further back, you know, and then you start, then the people start, again, you have to keep going slower. And then whoever's behind you, then they're like, they don't see what happened 10 minutes before where you kept getting pushed back by people jumping in to the hole of safe following distance. And then they think that you're just driving slow for the fun of it and then they get pissed off and they have a point there as well so um all right so that's where i'm at um uh, it's uh it's tough to stay on that in that it gets real boring real quick drilling holes um i'll keep you updated though i uh, may have to do more than 800 like i said if it shrinks that plate too much once i swage it all out or dimple diet, whatever you want to call it. And then uh, after that, stripping off that wood and putting those two runners of uh, tread plate on there. And that should be the last time I ever have to redeck that trailer. So, all right, I'll catch you later.